Imagine the chilling sequence in 2012 where entire cities crumble under the might of an unstoppable earthquake, terrifyingly cinematic, yet disturbingly plausible. In Japan, this doomsday scenario isn't merely the stuff of Hollywood thrillers. It's a genuine concern rooted in geological reality. The Japan Trench, a vast undersea fault line extending along the Pacific Ocean, is a constant source of anxiety for the archipelago. Scientists now warn that 2025 could witness a megaquake of unprecedented magnitude, rivaling or even surpassing the devastation of the 2011 Tohoku earthquake and tsunami. With the potential for catastrophic damage, tsunamis reaching towering heights and the risk of nuclear fallout, Japan's precarious position atop tectonic plates has once again placed it on the precipice of disaster. This video delves into the heart of this dire prediction, exploring the science, history, and preparedness efforts surrounding a possible megaquake emerging from the Japan Trench in 2025. The Anatomy of the Japan Trench The Japan Trench is a geological marvel and a haunting reminder of the planet's immense and unpredictable power. Formed by the Pacific Plate's subduction beneath the Okhotsk microplate, this trench stretches roughly 800 kilometers along Japan's northeastern coastline. It is one of Earth's most active tectonic zones, constantly reshaping the landscape and generating seismic energy capable of unleashing devastating earthquakes and tsunamis. The trench is a critical part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, a region notorious for its high frequency of seismic and volcanic activity. This undersea trench has been at the heart of several catastrophic events, including the 2011 Tohoku disaster. That magnitude 9.0 earthquake ruptured a 450-kilometer section of the trench, displacing vast amounts of water and triggering a tsunami that reached heights of up to 40 meters. This dual calamity claimed nearly 16,000 lives, destroyed entire communities, and resulted in a nuclear meltdown at the Fukushima Daiichi plant. Beyond the immediate devastation, the disaster left an enduring legacy, sparking global conversations about nuclear safety and disaster preparedness. The economic and emotional scars of that event remain etched into Japan's collective memory, influencing policy and public awareness to this day. The trench operates as a vast stress repository, as the Pacific Plate grinds against and dives beneath Japan's crust, immense energy builds up over centuries. When that energy is released, the result can be catastrophic. Unlike deeper tectonic zones, the Japan Trench's proximity to the Earth's surface amplifies the scale of its quakes and tsunamis, making it one of the most dangerous fault lines in the world. Recent seismic activity suggests that stress accumulation in key segments of the trench is reaching critical levels, setting the stage for another potentially catastrophic rupture. Adding to its perilous nature is the trench's ability to produce shallow megaquakes. These events, characterized by their proximity to the Earth's surface, amplify their destructive power. Scientists studying the trench's activity note a troubling trend. Seismic gaps. Areas along the fault line that have not ruptured in decades or even centuries are increasingly showing signs of stress. These seismic gaps, essentially dormant sections of the fault, are often precursors to major ruptures. Their presence amplifies concerns that a powerful earthquake could strike with little warning. Combined with the unpredictable nature of seismic activity, this unrelenting tectonic stress makes the Japan Trench a perpetual ticking time bomb poised to remind the world once again of the formidable forces lurking beneath the Earth's surface. History of Megaquakes Japan's relationship with earthquakes is as old as its history, with the Japan Trench often playing the antagonist in these seismic dramas. The Trench has been the epicenter of numerous catastrophic events that have shaped the nation's geography, infrastructure, and disaster preparedness protocols. Among the earliest recorded disasters was the 1896 San Riku earthquake, a magnitude 8.5 event that produced tsunamis, killing more than 22,000 people. Coastal villages were swept away, and the disaster became a grim reminder of nature's fury. Another significant event was the 1933 San Riku earthquake, which struck the same region with a magnitude of 8.4. Though advances in disaster response saved lives, 
over 3,000 people still perished. However, these pale in comparison to the 2011 Tohoku earthquake and tsunami. Stretching across an expansive 450-kilometer rupture zone, the earthquake displaced the seafloor by several meters, generating colossal waves that obliterated entire towns and cities. The Tohoku disaster wasn't just about immediate destruction. It also exposed vulnerabilities in Japan's infrastructure, particularly its nuclear facilities. The meltdown at Fukushima highlighted the cascading effects of such events, where a natural disaster triggers technological and environmental crises. The economic cost of the 2011 event exceeded $235 billion, making it the most expensive natural disaster in history. Geologists warn that the seismic activity recorded in recent years mirrors the conditions preceding these historic events. Stress accumulation in the Japan Trench's fault lines suggests that a similar or even more destructive earthquake could strike within the next few years. These patterns are not unique to modern history. Historical records show that the Japan Trench has been a site of recurring seismic upheavals for centuries, making it one of the most closely monitored fault lines in the world. The 2025 Megaquake Prediction the possibility of a megaquake in 2025 has captured global attention, not just for its scientific implications, but also for the human and environmental stakes. This prediction follows the issuance of a megaquake advisory in 2024 by Japan's meteorological agency, the first of its kind. This advisory came after a magnitude 7.1 earthquake near Kyushu, a seismic event that many experts suspect could be a foreshock a precursor to a much larger quake. Such advisories are based on a combination of historical data, current seismic activity, and stress transfer models. These models estimate how stress from one earthquake can accumulate and push adjacent fault lines closer to rupture. Scientists acknowledge that predicting the exact timing of earthquakes is impossible, but the conditions observed in the Japan Trench are alarmingly similar to those preceding previous megaquakes. The stakes are extraordinarily high. Historical patterns suggest that the Japan Trench produces megaquakes at intervals ranging from decades to centuries, and the last major event in 2011 may not be the end of the cycle. A megaquake in 2025 would not only devastate Japan, but also impact the entire Pacific Rim, with tsunamis potentially reaching as far as North and South America. The warning signs, foreshocks, increased stress accumulation, and seismic gaps underscore the urgent need for vigilance and preparation. The potential catastrophe. If a megaquake were to strike, the resulting chain of events would be catastrophic on multiple levels. The immediate ground shaking could devastate Japan's infrastructure, including buildings, roads, and bridges. Even structures designed to withstand earthquakes might falter under the extreme forces of a magnitude 9.0 or higher quake. This initial destruction would be compounded by the tsunamis that such a quake would inevitably trigger. The potential for destruction from tsunamis is particularly alarming. Waves could reach heights exceeding 30 meters, engulfing coastal towns and cities within minutes. These tsunamis would not only devastate Japan, but could also ripple across the Pacific, impacting countries thousands of kilometers away. The Japanese government estimates that such an event could result in over 323,000 fatalities, displace millions, and inflict economic damages exceeding $1.5 trillion. The risks extend beyond physical destruction. Japan's reliance on nuclear energy raises the specter of another Fukushima-like disaster. The 2011 meltdown demonstrated how seismic events could lead to cascading technological failures, releasing radiation, and creating long-term environmental and health crises. Nuclear plants along Japan's coastline remain vulnerable despite improvements in safety protocols since 2011. Logistical challenges during the aftermath would further compound the crisis. Transportation networks, including Japan's iconic Shinkansen high-speed trains, would face disruptions, hampering rescue and recovery efforts. Airports and shipping ports, critical for delivering aid and supplies, might also be rendered inoperable. The human toll would be incalculable as survivors struggle with displacement, injury, and loss. Preparedness and Mitigation Efforts 
Japan's approach to earthquake preparedness is among the most advanced in the world, shaped by centuries of experience and the hard lessons of disasters like the 2011 Tohoku earthquake. Early warning systems are at the forefront of these efforts. Using a network of seismometers, these systems can detect the first signs of a quake and alert residents seconds before the main tremor strikes. This brief window of warning has saved countless lives, allowing people to seek shelter and prepare for the shaking. Infrastructure across Japan reflects a deep understanding of seismic risks. Buildings are constructed with advanced engineering techniques, including seismic dampeners and shock-absorbing foundations. These technologies enable structures to sway and absorb energy rather than collapse during a quake. Coastal regions have also invested in tsunami mitigation measures, such as reinforced seawalls and elevated evacuation platforms. Public education is another cornerstone of Japan's preparedness strategy. Regular earthquake drills are conducted nationwide, teaching residents how to respond during a disaster. Schools, workplaces, and communities practice evacuation procedures, ensuring that people know how to reach safety quickly. Emergency supply kits are a common household item containing essentials like food, water, and first aid supplies. Despite these measures, challenges remain. The sheer scale of a potential megaquake could overwhelm even Japan's robust systems. Coastal areas where population density is highest are particularly vulnerable to tsunamis. While seawalls and evacuation routes offer some protection, they may not suffice in a worst-case scenario. The government continues to emphasize the importance of individual preparedness, urging citizens to stay vigilant and ready for the unexpected. The 2024 Megaquake Advisory serves as a stark reminder of the ever-present risks posed by the Japan Trench. It underscores the need for constant innovation in disaster preparedness and a collective effort to minimize the impact of nature's most powerful forces. While science and technology have made great strides, the unpredictability of earthquakes remains a sobering reality. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think enough is being done to prepare for a megaquake in the Japan Trench? Or are there gaps that still need to be addressed? Share your thoughts and insights in the comments below.